Hello, this is Chris Caffrey, and you are watching the steel. So okay. if you have a you stereo turn up, if you don't, why not? Hmm, Shawnee Timberfest. What does one wear to this? I think I need to do my research. I got it. So I grabbed my book about the most famous of lumberjacks, Paul Bunyan. Man, this guy was interesting. But what I really liked the most about him is his sense of humor. He had me laughing and laughing. Paul is also a good dresser. Just look at us. Next, I had to get my gear up to lumberjack standards. This means I had to sharpen my axes. Once sharpened, we were ready for the Shawnee Timberfest in East Stroudsburg. The thunder of chainsaws, the quick feet of log rollers, the brute strength of sawyers and choppers. This is what the Shawnee Timberfest is all about. Steel Nation, I'm with Jim. Jim, thanks for having us at the Autumn uh, Timberfest. My pleasure. Fest. Yeah, so, an annual event here at Shawnee Mountain. We do every year, uh, prime fall foliage time of the year, and uh, we have a good time, good family event. If you, you hear that in the back, that's the chainsaws from the Logman. Well, they're the uh, premier show. We have yeah. the Lumberjack shows. It's the Timber Team Lumberjack shows. They actually come as far as Alaska to do this for us. Uh, they also have down in the Smoky Mountains a, a permanent facility, but they do it road show. And, We've been having them here actually since the mid '80s, if Jeez, you can believe wow. it. So oh, it's been a, going on a long a, time, and it, it's always a big draw. You know, now I see how you got your trails done. Well, <laughs> hey guys, come on up here. Hey, I do that, but my well, buddies too. <laughs> hey, can you tell us about some of the other uh, events you here have here at Shawnee? Sure, we do. Uh, starting in the spring, actually, of Memorial Weekend, we do a Celtic festival. Mm -hmm. In mid-July, we have our worst festival. We call it the Poconos Worst. worst. Festival that's, and worse being W U R S T, meaning sausage, yeah. and it's that one's all about the food. Then again, it's polka and it's uh, yeah. it's uh, Jimmy Stir, which is one of the the, the legend in polka, polka music. That's one of As our well. bodies, Steel Nation. Jimmy yes. Stir. Is that so. right? Moving on, we do a big mud run each year, which is uh, one of those obstacle uh, adventure races. And then the biggest event we do is the Garlic Festival. We team up with the Pocono Garlic Growers on that one. And then following that, the rodeo and. Yeah. Uh, we, here we go hey, with the So what you're fest. telling me, uh, Ski Shawnee Mountain, it's just not wintertime anymore. It is. You guys isn't. are going full, uh, full circle. Yeah, usually about once a month Bam. we're doing an event, but uh, again, skiing is what rules here. Right. right? Yeah. Anyway, hey, thanks for having me. My pleasure. Us. Okay. All right, thanks. thanks. Now it was time to check out the sights of the festival. Hey, look, there's the Marvelous Mutts. These are actually rescue dogs that are trained to go through different agility obstacles. Next, we met up with our friend from the Pocono Wildlife Rehabilitation and Education Center. She wanted to show us some of her friends. The Nation, and I'm with a friend, Kathy. Oh, no, Kathy. I'm Kathy. <laughs> this is Blaine. She is our educational ambassador. She is with us because she cannot go back to the wild, and she's also our foster mom. What do we have here? This is Einstein. Einstein is an albino crow. He came to us as a baby. He's now four years old. And, he, and the coloring? He is an albino. Yes, that's fascinating. And that is not a good thing to be at, hello, in the what? hello. In the crow business, that's not a good thing, huh? No, it's not a good thing. All right. But he obviously can talk. Hey, Einstein, what do you think about the steel? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. Right. There you oh, go. Oh, yeah, there we go. <laughs> hello. All right, I had to think about it a while. Einstein, again, He's think a This is Bo. He is a barn owl. Okay. He's rocking. What's the rocking mean? Anything? Is Just, he listening to music or? I think maybe inside his head he is. Hey, yeah. Steel. There you go. There you go. We're all, we'll all just do this. Yeah. All right, now who do we have? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take any chances here. This is Abigail and Madeline. <laughs> all right. They are our education skunks. Okay. Now. <laughs> They're decent. Okay. They're decent. <laughs> All right. I figured I'd let you wait for a little I while. I started sweating here. Now I know the, the the big difference in the coloring between yes. the two. Um, this one is called an apricot. Okay. And this is a regular colored skunk. All right. Um, they were purchased from breeders to use for education. Steel Nation, I got a special guest, Zeus. Zeus. That this can't... is this is an endangered species. Is a peregrine falcon. Okay. It's common in our area? Well, not common. There okay. are fewer peregrine falcons in Pennsylvania than there are bald eagles. But the Lehigh Valley is getting pairs that are living on buildings and helping to control the pigeon population in the Lehigh Valley. And that's what Zeus does. That's what Zeus does. Oh, that's fascinating. Yes, they eat, they eat birds, especially pigeons. Well, you know what? Zeus looks like he wants to go get something to eat, and yeah. I think that's where we should go next. Sounds good. 
Steel Nation, I'm with a special guest. The guest of honor. Guest hey. of horror. <laughs> or the guest of R. Could be either way. Mike AKA Ball. Nick's dad. Yeah, AKA otherwise known as Nicholas's father. Yeah. And what do we have here? We have pierogi. They're made with potatoes, and yes. onions, cheese. I'm yeah. going to have to taste one of your work. Go ahead. Look at this, Steel Nation. Just open a little bit. It's close to the fried. Beautiful. And heavenly oil. I'll tell you what. Tom, these things are great. Yeah. Where can I get these? Well, you get the Holy Trinity, you have to ask Nick. All right. And he can give uh, me or uh, his mother the order. Could I buy a dozen? Yes, you can buy a dozen. All right. For uh, $6 a dozen. I got to ask you a question. Yeah. Whose segment on the steel do you like the best? Probably them all. All right. All it's, right. It's a good show. Yeah. So, steel Nation, there you have it, right from yeah. Nick's dad. Other food stands include a pig roast, hot sandwiches, potato chips on a stick, and sweet sausage as well as many others. Hey, Steel Nation, now's the time we've been waiting for. We're gonna check out what these lumberjacks really do and what it's like to be a lumberjack. Here with the loggers on the, on this, on the trailer, right? Yep. All right, and uh, we're gonna get, get to work here. So we're gonna put some chaps on. My wife would love this. How do I look back there? <laughs> Good. That was success. It was great. That was success. <laughs> I was watching yeah. your program, and you guys said this saw alone is, is what? A re, uh, responsible for more chopping more trees down than, than that, axes and chainsaws combined, yeah. I mean, that's incredible. And, and these were only in, introduced in the late 1800s. Now, this yeah. is something you guys would use in competition. No, yep. this oh, is an M tooth. Okay. So these are all cutting teeth. Yeah. A competition saw would have either two, three, or four cutting teeth, and then a raker to clean out all the sawdust in there. Okay. And it's more efficient, but it's more technique. Hey, I'm gonna give this a try. <laughs> Hands. Yeah. You pull hand on the bottom just like that. All right. Try by giving it a real wow. pulls. Try not to rock it. Try and keep that right. saw real flat. <laughs> Man, you guys look make it look so easy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, Try to use the whole saw. Yeah, pull keep this all the way back forward here, here. Yeah. but don't keep your front foot in line with your back foot. Have all your right. back foot out a little bit. Oh, okay. Put your hands together. Okay. And you're turning your body. You want to use the whole saw so every teeth is cutting on oh, the push okay. and pull. Yeah. Oh, man. All right, yeah, you get a good rhythm going. Now you saw me do it. I'm going to turn it over to the professionals uh -huh. on this one. All right, this is the part I was really excited for, the axe throw. And take a look at this axe. Double-sided, I don't know, what is it called something? Is, uh, it's just a double-bitted throw on axe? I feel yep. like a barbarian with yep. this thing, I really do. <laughs> Basically, in the axe throw, yeah. you stand about 20 feet away from the target. Okay. You got your center mark there, that's five points, and then it goes down to four, three, and two on the outer ring. Okay. Basically, you stand about, like I said, 20 feet, kind of line it up with it. Nice go. Yep. I think this is mine. I think this is my event. Now it was my turn. Bingo! Four points. Really wanted to come over here to the actual log roll. This, you know, that's a pretty popular event. Yep. What a, a, a way to test your agility. Ugh. I think I spoke too soon. And I don't think people really appreciate logging and, and the agility of you guys actually uh, doing doing the, the events um, that you need for something like this. Yeah, I mean, we have guys that have been doing this since they were three years old, and they don't they themselves don't consider them good. And they still feel like they're amateurs. Yeah. Amateurs all the time. That's unbelievable. It's, all right, I guess let's go check out one more event. Look at this steel nation. Look at this rope. Way up high, 30 feet high, these athletes climb this whole thing, race to the top, and slide down. Yep. Can you show us some of the, uh, the the tools you use for this event? Sure, well, the most important thing is our tree spikes. These actually go on the inside of your boot, right like this. That's right. what actually lets us climb up the so tree. So you're digging in right there with that yep, spike Yeah, that's itself. right. These, you kick them in as hard as you can. They usually okay. dig in about that far okay. as you're going up. You got one on each foot, and then we wear good protective gloves on our hands, and then our rope. Our rope's real important. It's actually a steel cable rope inside the rope, and that strapped onto our belt. The steel is so if uh, our rope wears out, 
it doesn't break oh, on yeah, us. Then we don't want to be falling, free no. falling from 35, 40 30. feet up. Well, I, one thing I did notice when you guys are coming down, you're hardly ever touching the pole. No, nope. I mean, it's just nope, like a, wanna... almost a descent right down into the path. Exactly, we want to come down as quick as we can because the competition doesn't stop when you hit the top. It's the first guy to go to the top and then come back down right and down. hit that crash pad. After learning about the different events, I really wanted to watch these guys compete against each other. So I grabbed the best seat in the house right up front. They had an hour of talking about the different events, activities for the kids, and of course, chopping, and a whole lot of it. This is called the springboard chop. This is the high saw event using modified chainsaws. Here's the underhand block chop. And everybody's favorite, the log roll. Thanks for showing us, showing us around here. But the finale is that ax toss, and you're gonna try to knock this cap off my head. Hey, I, I didn't know I was really signing up for this, but you think you can do it? Hey, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> what, I see what you can do. Steel Nation, I'm nervous about this one. Wow, these guys are professionals. After that heroic daredevil act, I needed some alone time. So I went to the Lumberjack's favorite place, up the mountain. I consider this shoot a success. Until next time, friends, bye-bye, back to base. Next on The Steel, Wolfie goes up to the annual wing-off at Shawnee Mountain and sees if he can hang with the hottest of the hot sauces. Will he do it, or just go home like a little schoolboy? I'm Chris Thompson, head football coach of Lehigh Valley Steelhawks, and you're watching The Steel. Looking for some fun? But need a place to go? Come to the Scorecard in Wingap and be a part of the weekly food specials and entertainment activities. Wednesday, Team Trivia. Thursday, Karaoke. Friday nights, Live Music. And on Saturdays, Jade's Lounge is open. Don't forget NFL Sundays. Watch your favorite team on any one of their 23 flat screen TVs. The Scorecard in Wingap make it your next destination.